What's up, boys? Ooh, boy. <laughs> so, when I recently performed the most hype activity since watching Attack on Titan Season 4, you know, I was just basically reading the latest chapters of Jojolian, and I saw Josuke use his bubbles in a manner quite similar to a certain crippled Joestar, I realized that Endless Calamity vs Infinite Spin would be pretty fun to talk about. Especially since Josuke most likely will evolve his bubble butt abilities in the future chapters of Jojolian. So, you might be thinking, between Endless Calamity and Infinite Spin, who would win? Well, it's actually quite convenient that you're asking that, because I'm actually analysing both stance abilities today to answer that exact question. Fuck yeah! So, let's see if Endless Calamity can beat Infinite Spin in today's stance showdown. We can start with the pink elephant. Okay, so the principle behind Tusk Act 4 detracts from the use of the golden spin, which requires Johnny to make his horse run in a natural state, causing the golden rectangle. Look, if you don't understand, it's fine. Like, who even cares about this Chinese cartoon anyways? Look, all you need to know is that the energy wielded by Tusk Act 4 is infinite, allowing a wide array of otherwise impossible feats like stopping impending dooms, anime only's opinions about Jojo, and of course, Araki killing off fan favorite characters. Nah, I'm just kidding, no one can stop that. The spin can also be transferred between objects. I know, some real interesting stuff right here. But anyways, if Tusk Act 4 were to touch someone, then you would be inflicted by the infinite spin. Everything down to the individual cells spin on themselves, greatly distorting the shape of the victim. As you can see with Valentine, it makes it look like the definition of a twister, and eventually the targets are disintegrated by the rotation. So basically, if you're hit by the infinite spin, you're pretty much done. According to Johnny, not even the soul is left behind, which is a pretty hardcore stand for someone crying over Cowboy Mario. <sighs> I feel you. One of the first abilities displayed by Tusk Act 4 is that it's able to break through the dimensional barrier of Love Chain. Basically, Tusk Act 4 defines the laws of gravity, and therefore can move slightly and have influence over stop time, and possibly other unexplained things like Calamity. The damage caused by the rotation is infinite, and like Act 2 and 3, the energy of the spin can persist inside objects, so even if Johnny misses a nail shot, it can be redirected towards a target, ruining their day and causing them to rage quit from this dimension. However, if the spin goes on forever and never leaves the person, or in this case stand, forcing them to return to the same place where they were hit, or at least the equivalent in each parallel universe, so even if you wanted to rage quit and leave, then Tusk will just go. The rotation won't end unless Johnny shoots the target with a similar rotation that is spinning in the opposite direction, resulting in the two infinites cancelling each other out. Tusk Act 4's infinite spin really only has one weakness, that being, if you're inflicted with the spin, removing the limb where you were hit before the spin spreads to the rest of your body leaves you unharmed. And unarmed. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, okay, let's just move on to Wonder of You, which ability-wise is rather simple to comprehend. So basically, those who commit a form of pursuit against either the stand or the user will suffer a power called the Calamity. The more you pursue, the more likely it is that you will be torn apart and die a horrible, brutal death. Quite simple, right? The range of the ability is not really clear, but it appears to be infinite. As long as the target affected admits to the attempt of pursuit, it kinda just does its own thing. The stand can face through walls, hover above the floor, pay your taxes, do yoga, and take your kids to daycare, among other interesting activities. Oh yeah, it also seems to be able to teleport at will, as it jumps around in the Endless Calamity arc more than a Discord mod that is seeing you post memes in general. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So yes, I do think the age of consent should be 13 years. Oh yeah, I should probably explain what Calamity means. <clears throat> Welcome to Calamity 101. Okay, so Wonder of You's main ability revolves around this thing called Calamity, bringing impending doom for anyone pursuing his use of Toru. If the intent to pursue Toru is imminent or the target is in close proximity to Toru, the Calamity will prioritize the target and anyone else who is nearby and attack. It will cause a horrible accident like making sharp objects hit vital areas on your body or even worse, make you step on a Lego. Oh Either dying of the damage caused or losing the will to pursue Toru before the target is attacked will cease and negate its ability. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. 
Unlike my regular stand showdowns, the environment won't play a huge factor in this fight since, you know, the Calamity will find a way. So without further ado, let's just hurry up so I can go back to playing Persona 5 Strikers. So let's say that Johnny Joestar somehow returned to modern time Japan and he hears that one of his descendants are in mid-battle with a misfortune causing stand. While on Slow Dancer, he spots Wonder Yu and immediately uses Tusk Act 4 with the infinite spin and fires. If the battle between these two stands were to happen, it would likely follow two possible paths. Either Johnny and Tusk Act 4 would absolutely demolish Wonder of you, or Wonder of you would absolutely demolish Tusk. <laughs> yeah, okay, I know that doesn't help, but actually I found a pretty simple solution to our dilemma. Tusk might not even necessarily need the infinite spin since it's pretty heavily applied that the spin can counteract the misfortune caused by Wonder Yu. But it's still in Wonder of Yu's favor as the power of Calamity possibly controls Fei itself. The infinite spin and just spin in general seems to have a form of connection to whatever Wonder Yu is doing, possibly through string theory, and I believe that this fight could be solved using string theory. But since this video will be way too long if I went in depth about explaining string theory, I'ma just turn down the cheek and skip it for this video. I might return to the topic later, but if you do want to learn about string theory right now, which I do recommend doing, there are other videos on the topic, it's specifically Jojolian, that is really good. But fuck that, I'ma just do this the Jojo star way, and probably fuck it up. Alright, so this entire fight is simply based on range and precision, since both stunts strength-wise leads to a one-shot either way. So we will need to compare the speed of these stunts. Even though Tusk Act 4 is really fast, it's not faster than Star Platinum, and definitely not faster than the Calamities of Wonder Yu. The Calamities are simply too fast in attacking, and even though the exact form the Calamity takes varies, it always involves redirecting aspects of the nearby environment towards the target in a harmful manner. However, if Johnny is able to put his nails against the ground and utilize the spin to rapidly carry himself away from his current position, this could act like a dodge. But as seen in chapter 105 when the plane door is coming towards Yasuo, the Calamity would simply redirect its attack in an instant, sort of like a lock-on. Upon contact with any object influenced by the Calamity, the target receives an extreme amount of damage, especially from impacts like a plane door, so Johnny will probably be killed, unless he's able to hit one review before it's targeted. So if the spin can pass through the Calamity, then maybe it's possible. But since Wonder Yu will probably just pull out another Pokemon that he had in his pants and block the infinite spin, it's not looking good. But if the spin could transcend the Calamity, then Johnny could redirect the nail and hit Wonder Yu, or even possibly Toru himself. I strongly believe that Johnny could win against Wonder Yu if, and yeah, big if here, if the spin could transcend the Calamity, then Johnny would have enough abilities up his sleeve to hit the target without injuring himself. But if it couldn't, he's fucked. It is simply not certain if this spin could break the calamity of Wonder Yu, so I guess for the time being it's not looking good for Johnny Joestar, since if he's targeted, a brutal death is gonna fall upon our favorite Jesus loving, horseback riding, bubble butt emo boyfriend, Johnny Joestar. Yosha! <laughs> Hurra! 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 